lovelies welcome back to my channel i am diva simessi in case you don't already know and in today's video we're going to be doing a crochet afro braids all right i'm going to install in that with you guys to see how it turns up so the first thing i'm going ahead to do is show you my braiding pattern all right it's nothing serious you can just go ahead to braid down whatever you can and i'm just going to weave that up into one because i didn't go ahead to pre-loop it as i was weaving all right so now i'm just going to go ahead to tack that as you can see with my thread and needle and just have that in place all you need to make sure to do is just you're making sure you're tying as you go so it doesn't end up losing and you can get someone to braid this for you you can braid it yourself it doesn't really have to be so clean all right it could just be any braids to just kind of get the crochet into you can go ahead to do the no braid pattern whatever works for you all right so this is the extension i'm using today it's called the rosemary and guys i got this for just 2800 naira and i ended up using i bought two packs i ended up using one and a quarter i just used like a buck from it right so it's really really amazing i was really surprised at the price because it's actually very affordable and it's fiber hair actually but it looks great so i'm just gonna go ahead and start crocheting that right into my braids there's so many methods in crocheting all right i'm just gonna show you the method i'm using i use two methods i use one for the front and one for the back all right so for the back i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of loop that in i'm struggling with the crochet pin because this crochet pin is an old crochet pin i didn't know it was actually rusted already so it doesn't really open up and closes like a normal crochet hook would so that's why i'm struggling a bit so all i've gone ahead to do is just kind of crochet that in and then pull the crochet loops into it and then twist and then crochet it again i'm going to take that one more time so we've put a crochet into our braids all right i'm just going to take the crochet the afro and then put it into the crochet take that out take the crochet pin out then i'm going to go ahead use my hand pull the two strand of hair in and twist and pull it in again so that just makes it tighter and just kind of do it the i'm doing it two ways right so the twisting you have to twist it if you don't twist it before taking it in again it's going to end up losing all right it's going to end up coming out so you have to twist and then pull it in again so i'm just showing you numerous times how i'm doing that just kind of watch and see what i'm doing because i'm really bad at explaining and this is what the back is looking like once we're done with it all right so you just want to go ahead and keep doing that and the back is full to how you like it and you want to give it spacing as much as you would like it whether you want it to be so full or you want it to be less full it depends on the spacing you give and how much hair you crochet at once So now we're done with the back i'm gonna go into the front so i'm just showing you that for the crochet um braids sometimes i fold it into equal half and sometimes i fold it with one half being longer this is just kind of to make the crochet a bit longer than it would be when it's just folded into half the exact half so i went ahead to fold one longer and one shorter right it just kind of helps it to be longer basically so it depends on you there's no need to do that if you want your afro to be short but if you want it to be longer that's kind of a method to use to make it longer for you okay guys so this is the second method i was talking about so we basically just pull the extension in like we've been doing but now what i'm going to go ahead to do is i'm just going to loop only one of those strands i'm going to loop only one and then i'm just going to tie it like i've been doing before this kind of creates like a illusion basically it doesn't leave not like the other one would like the other method would so it makes you see i'm in the center right i'm in the middle pattern so you want to kind of create an illusion since we're not leaving out any braids so i'm just showing you this is a way to kind of achieve the no leave out situation we're trying to achieve so just doing it this way kind of hides the knot and gives that illusion and makes it more flawless I basically just do this other method when i'm going towards the front 
when I get very close to the front and I did it all the way in the middle pattern to kind of just give that illusion that we're going after so this is what one side is looking like once it's done and I was like hmm is this gonna come up right am i gonna like it but it's not bad it's giving what do we think let me know your thoughts down below so i'm gonna go ahead to do the same thing at the other side just basically this video is very repetitive actually that's why it's going to be a very short tutorial just for you to see what i'm doing but it's actually very protective. You just want to take your time and make sure you do it right. Get someone to braid for you or you can braid it or you don't really need to braid. Depends on what you're going for. So lovelies, this is what it's looking like once we're done with our installation. I really love how it came out. It was looking so full, but like I said, okay, I know what I'm gonna do to kind of have the situation under control. So I went in with my water and conditioner. But guys, this didn't really do anything like that. It did help a little, but not so much as I expected it to. So I think it needs a, a, a product. I need to use a product that has more sleep that would actually go into the hair because the water was just it wasn't entering the air but it did make the tangling a bit more easier but i wish i had more products on hand that i could use like a good conditioner with a good sleep but i didn't have any but i did manage to get that under control so i'm just gonna head to section the half row and then i'm just gonna go ahead to braid this just kind of to stretch it out a bit more all right so that's what i'm doing i just want to head to do that for the whole hair So lovelies, this is what it's looking like once I'm done kind of braiding everything out. I went ahead to do my makeup off camera, obviously. Then I'm going to go ahead to just loosen that up. And you'll just see how pretty it looks stretched out. And everything kind of calms down. The situation was like under control. I really loved how it came out. But I did go ahead to trim it up. But you can go ahead to leave it this length if that's what you want. If that works for you, fine. But I kind of felt this was too long for me because I didn't want any hair touching my back. All right. I mean, that's obviously optional now depends on what you're going on but this is a look on its own being long like this is a look on its own i just wanted it shorter right so i went ahead to kind of shaping it with my scissors i just went ahead to start cutting and cutting until i got to where i liked it and where i wanted it to be but obviously it's your choice it's optional whatever works for you right so i'm just gonna go ahead to kind of cut it up to the shape i want So lovelies, I kind of went ahead in a bit too much with the scissors. Not too much though, I didn't mind it. I really like it this way. I really like it short. Let me know which one you like, whether you prefer it longer or shorter. But I kind of looked at it and I'm like, this style would actually be cute with a fringe, right? It's giving what it's meant to give. I kind of like it too. So let me know what you think down below. Would you leave it short? Would you leave it long? Would you be installing it with a fringe? I actually love this hair. I love how it came out. I love how you know should i say how natural it looks i guess that's it i really love how it came out So lovelies, that's really it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. So I just want to do this tutorial with you guys. Install it. Let me know what you think about the hair overall. Is this something you can try? Is this something you've been rocking? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. And if you're watching the end of this video, you already know you're the what? You already know you're the real MVP. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next week video. Love you. Mwah.